No, I thought we had, you know, ample opportunities. We were back in the game the whole second half. We had a ton of good looks at the end of the game. Probably didn't execute as well as we'd like. We still got good looks. Um, you know, we, we didn't make we didn't make any of them. It felt like, but uh, just one of those nights where maybe we didn't execute well enough. Um, didn't have enough poise, but uh, plenty of stuff we can work on and and get better at. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey Steve, what did you make of your guys' defense, especially given, as you said, even though you weren't hitting shots, you're still able to stay in the game for most of the first half, despite that. Yeah, we were pretty solid again. I mean, it was three games now where I thought our defensive effort was good. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's interesting that we we lose a game because of our offense, but uh, you know, it was just a tough game. We just didn't couldn't find a rhythm. Um, you know, a, a great opportunity for us to learn and grow from this. Um, and uh, the defense was solid, though, but we got to clean it up both ends of the floor, but particularly offense. Tonight. And if I could just follow up, it looked like Bruce was holding his groin or his hip late in the game. Is he all right? Yeah, I think he's fine. Yeah, I think he's fine. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Steve, I I'm wondering if you saw any specific adjustments from the Bucks that you thought allowed them to uh, play differently or if it was more effort-based in your estimation? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, they're a desperate team. Um, you know, I guess you could say they, we, these are two elite offensive teams that played in the 80s. So, um, you know, they had a better start than us. Uh, you know, I felt like they got a better quality of shots at times than we did. Uh, you know, but I mean, it could have gone either way. You know, we had, we, we, we went really cold at the end of the game. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pick it apart. We'll look at it. We'll try to execute better, uh, look at ways that we can learn from this game and move forward. I mean, you know, it was a tough, tough playoff game where neither team was really shooting the ball well, creating good opportunities. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was someone was going to win ugly and uh, it was them tonight. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Steve, uh, you talked about looking at the execution down the stretch. Is it fair to say that you did actually get the looks that you wanted and just didn't hit them? And if that's the case, was that legs? Yeah, I mean, you can always go back and look at a game and be like, uh, you know, we would have liked this player to shoot or whatever it may be. You know, but in the moment, I thought we still were able to create some good opportunities, very makeable opportunities. You know, you look at it, there's only one or two buckets in the last three or four minutes that we needed to fall, and they just didn't. Um, and, you know, I thought plenty of opportunities. Now, you know, would I want Kevin or Kai shooting every single ball? Of course, but that's just not always the way it works out. But we can learn from it. We can grow. Uh, we got good looks at times that just didn't go in for us. And, you know, it was an uncharacteristic night in that respect, but also a night that is a new experience for us, you know, on the road and against an elite team in a hostile environment and a uh, very physical game. And, you know, at times I thought we, you know, maybe <clears throat> needed to just slow down a little bit, have a little bit more poise and, and get to our spots. Greg Logan with Newsday. Steve, I apologize for going out of your ass, but uh, what kind of encouragement do you take from not only the comeback, but the fact that you held them at 86 points for the second straight game and just didn't have shots on is that a little bit of a confidence building? Well, I think it, it shows we've defended well. Um, you know, we, we can always improve at the defensive end, but it was a really solid game. We, we gave ourselves a chance because of our defense. You know, and our offense just couldn't keep up tonight. We, you know, were basically a bucket or two short. And, you know, we'll have to clean up the offense. But the defense was pretty solid. And it's going to have to continue to be solid. Rachel Nichols with ESPN. Hey, Steve. Um, I've had some coaches in the past say that their teams learn more from losses than from wins, especially when the team is a bit new to each other. Uh, you guys, I guess, fall into that category just with all the injuries this year. Have you found that with this team? And if so, what do you think today kind of taught everyone to do for the next game in the series? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's it's much easier to learn from losses. You know, I think wins, sometimes you can sweep things under the rug. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think we just got to look at, you know, the way we executed, you know, throughout the game. I thought that... Um, you know, we, we didn't make shots. We had some looks that we just didn't make that we normally make, but I thought our execution could have been better throughout. Um, so great experience for our guys. They're, uh, you know, it's, like we said, a new group. They're still learning. They're still figuring things out together. And so it was a great experience for us, even if it was a painful one. Thank you. Okay.
Last question, Ian Begley with SNY. Hey, Steve, the, uh, the two possessions late where Bruce Brown ends up with the shot, um, you know, do you tell the group just to play free in that scenario and get the best look you can, or do you tell them, hey, let's look for Kevin or Kyrie? Well, we, we all know that we want Kevin and Kai to shoot the ball, but if they don't get free, you know, they got to make the right play. And so we made the right play. Um, you know, you give some credit to the Bucks, and, um, you know, still we got some makeable looks. We can get better at executing. We can get better at uh, handling those moments. And it was a great test for us tonight. And I think it was a lot for us to learn from. It.